Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Jealous Michelle takes off to UK right after Trump's leave. Gets nasty surprise when she lands. Michelle Obama continues to show the world just how clueless and out of touch she truly is. In her latest unhinged and bitter rant, the always angry-looking former first lady claimed President Donald Trump is second-rate compared to her husband, former President Barack Obama. Michelle continues to behave as though she is somehow the royalty she believes herself to be, jetting off to the United Kingdom. She arrived in Scotland just as President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump were departing. They shadowed the Trump family all over Europe last summer and it appears they intend to continue their pattern of following the Trumps, much in the way of obsessive stalkers. Michelle then proceeded to trash-talk Trump supporters as per usual upon landing, the British citizenry, in turn, gave her a rather nasty surprise. Speaking at a charity event organized by the Hunter Foundation, Michelle described her first international speaking engagement since leaving the White House. She continues to prove just how out of touch with everyday Americans or even the everyday person in the United Kingdom. A table for 10 people at this event cost £5,000 or approximately US$6,500. She began slamming President Trump with claims of mediocrity during a speech at a charity event in Scotland. Speaking of President Trump, Michelle stated, there's something wrong with us as women that we would make that choice. We can't be okay with mediocrity with men, but demand excellence from women. Michelle went on to speak of the 2016 election, still continuing to rehash the results nearly two years later, in a foreign country no less, claiming that the last election in my country does not give me hope, according to the Scotsman. Despite having never been asked, Michelle went on to tell the audience that her daughters, Malia and Sasha, would not allow her to run for office claiming the presidency is a hard job and grueling for a family. She described her time in the White House, stating, We have lived in a bubble for the past eight years. We need to believe in the next generation. She added that she planned to continue to do as much as ever outside of politics. Leaders have to know when to get out of the way for the next generation. Timing is everything in this world, especially in the world of politics. It seems the Obamas along with the Democrats are continuing to plot and plan, planning this trip just behind the Trump's well-publicized visit to the United Kingdom with a deliberate mission to undermine and speak poorly of the president and his leadership in a foreign nation. Not only did Michelle speak poorly of President Trump himself, she also trashed those who chose to support the Trump administration and especially women who voted for President Trump. The Daily Mail states, her strong words against Trump come just hours after her husband Barack gave a sharp rebuke to Trump by warning that strongman politics are ascendant in a speech in Johannesburg. South Africa. Except it seems Obama knows very little about strong arms and so many Americans are sick of sissified beta males. We had eight very long years of red lines and rhetoric with very little action, and a distinct weakening of America as a nation, all thanks to Barack and his refusal to man up. Despite this woefully transparent attempt to publicly criticize the Trump presidency and the Trump administration, as well as President Trump himself, the Scottish and British people made it clear they were not fooled with a nasty surprise of their own for Michelle. Daily Mail reader Captain Durham from the United Kingdom commented on Michelle Obama's trip to the UK and her anti-Trump message with a scathing rebuke, stating, Isn't this the same creature who stated in the summer of 2008 that for most of her life she had been ashamed to be an American? Sue from London, England, also gave Michelle a piece of her mind, commenting, So she has come over here to rejoice over the Trump protests. Obama told us we would be last in line for a trade deal if we leave, the European Union. Go home, you are old news. Lizzie Jones of Manchester, UK clearly did not buy the propaganda that was being spewed by Michelle either, writing, Obama was mediocre and his wife one of the Clintons back in the White House. The man who abused his position with a young intern in the Oval Office. Way to go Michelle. And the list continues of those from the United Kingdom filleting Michelle for her witless commentary and attempts to make herself relevant. Shirley Bromley from Tunbridge, United Kingdom wrote, saying, Stop trying to make yourself relevant. Trump's in office because people voted for him. Obama was ineffectual. Trump gets things done. Your opinion is worthless Mrs. O. And Katie of Inverness, UK, verbally thrashed Michelle, writing, They never want to celebrate powerful and successful Republican women. How many times do they praise Kellyanne Conway, Sarah Sanders or Nikki Haley? They don't care about women, just women they agree with politically. Would they be excited at the prospect of the first female POTUS being a Republican? It seems the plan failed, backfiring in epic fashion. Michelle thought she could trot along behind President Trump and Melania in their wake and being lauded for how wonderful she is, 
all while she denigrated everything about President Trump and the women that chose to support him. Instead, Michelle ever hanging onto the coattails of others latched onto a Scottish billionaire named Sir Tom Hunter. Hunter notably paid her an undisclosed amount for that ridiculous travesty of a speech which stabbed Americans in the back. Exposed for the grasping social climber she is, Michelle attempted to disparage and cast judgment on Americans that chose to vote for President Trump, while she and her pitiful husband hobnob with the Hollywood elite and the world's richest men and women as they attempt to use their tenure as the former first couple to cash in. Except aren't Barack and Michelle supposed to be seen as common people who can relate to middle-class Americans? It seems the citizens of the United Kingdom were onto her shenanigans, though. It is time Michelle ceases to embarrass herself by casting aspersions on the rest of America. President Trump is indeed President of the United States of America, whether she likes it or not. After all, as her husband once said, elections have consequences. Americans elected President Donald Trump due to the failures of the Obama presidency and many other reasons. Cease being a meddlesome stalker and looking like some sort of teenage groupie breathlessly following a rock star to very concert stop. Get a life. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.